Jeff, how you live in Mexico? Oh, it's just great. Just what I thought it would be. Windy, cool, and wet. So this is La Paz, Mexico. That's the Sea of Cortez behind me, also known as the Gulf of California. La Paz was founded by the pearling industry hundreds of years ago. These waters are full of oysters and the pearling industry here still continues to this day. Finally found our hotel, and not a moment too soon because it's raining. What is that? Wait a minute. What did this just say? Yeah. There's a hurricane. Yeah. Let's get out the elevator. Then we can. So Tuesday there's supposed to be a hurricane? Yeah. Well, yeah. Just a category one, though. Oh, just a category one. We can deal with that. <laughs> we'll be in Colorado by then anyways, so it's not going to hit us. All right, good. We'll be north But I'm sure here. they're just sending out the notice for yeah. any of the guests. We'll be north of here by then, so yeah. Okay, so there's a hurricane coming, uh -huh. and it's coming for tomorrow. And is it a for sure thing? I mean, is it, is it actually going to happen? Yes. Here, and this is the song. Ah, ya la cambia. It's changed. It's the new information. This is here. Uh, so 6 p.m. Monday, which is yes. now. Uh huh. And this is. I think this is in the at night or yeah, maybe at night or early in the morning. Okay. okay. And so we're here. Yeah. And so that thing is going to hit us at noon tomorrow. Yeah. Is this a really tiny? Oh this my is, God! This is all the door opens. This. This, this is, is all. I have to shut the door to let you. Uh, all right. Well, I'll slip out in the hall. Hey, guys. Next. Oh my God! We have to take turns getting in here. Yeah. It's that. This tight. is. Go. This, this is a very, very it's tiny good. hotel room you thought for the three dudes. Was bad. Here, I'm gonna move back in this corner so you can get in the room. Okay. There's no light switch for the bathroom. That doesn't work. Really? Yeah, there's no light that works in the bathroom. It's very dark in here. So, there's a hurricane coming. Well, this could be interesting. Right now I'm gonna try to get up on the roof and check out the view of this town. So this entire hotel is now on lockdown. We cannot leave our rooms. Um, the hurricane is a category two right now and as soon as it makes landfall sometime during the night, it'll lose some steam and turn into a category one by the time it hits here sometime tomorrow morning. That's still a hundred mile an hour winds. Um, so 
The streets of La Paz right now are almost completely vacant. Everybody's off the streets. Um, but yeah, we're on lockdown. We can't leave our rooms. Um, and we may be here for maybe a couple of days. Who knows? It all depends on how bad this storm is and what direction it actually takes. But this storm has completely thwarted our entire plans for the rest of this trip. There's nothing we can do about it. So we're just going to ride out the hurricane. in the morning it's not supposed to really hit us until noon it's so windy that the wind is actually setting off car alarms this girl's reaction on the billboard says it all we should be out here this is pretty stupid all right, breakfast. So right now we are in the lobby of the hotel and I came down, of course, to check the internet to see what the weather was gonna be like and there's no internet. The satellite TV is down. We are completely cut off from the rest of the world except for what we can see through that window over there. All we can do is sit and wait and watch. On the plus side, this is the first hurricane that I've ever experienced. Is that a plus side? That's our hotel. These staircases along the wall here, that's where we were filming this morning. Good view of the hurricane from up there. Yes, bonita. Hey. <laughs> 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 it's no muy malo. No. So this is a category one hurricane. 100 mile an hour winds, lots of rain. It's really not as bad as I expected it to be, but I just talked to a guy and he said the worst is yet to come in about an hour. All right, it's gotten worse. So it really has gotten bad out here. It's torrentially downpouring. The hotel is right across the parking lot that I'm standing in. I can't even see it. Now logic would say go inside, but that logic was never one of my strong suits. All right, we're heading back in. Vlogging in a Mexican hurricane is not as easy as it looks. Here's the hallway to our room. Look at that, it's coming into the light. Yeah. All right, so that's a hurricane. Oh, here. Oh, the water's in our room now? Oh, 
Pastor on the Northeast Pass. That was not oh. earlier today. Water's in our room. Hurricane one, hotel zero. All right, back in the hotel room. We have dry clothes on. The TV behind me doesn't work. It is a satellite TV and it's completely down. So is the internet. I find it extremely interesting that somebody 3,000 miles away from us knows more of what's happening with this storm than we do and we are stuck right in the middle of it. Well, it looks like for the most part the storm is over, but look at this aftermath. Every street in this town is a river. officer it is over finito done and as I walk past this down awning kind of surveying the damage done to the city not as bad as I thought but still a lot of devastation so I've just survived my first hurricane and I was wondering if the people of Baja have to deal with this situation often and what I found and what kind of really irks me is that since 1971 there have only been seven hurricanes that have made landfall here and it had to happen on the week that we were here and completely mess up our plans and now the rest of our trip we're going to be kind of flying by the seat of our pants which is really how I live life anyway so it's not that big a deal and yeah when you're in it you know yeah I got pissed and I got upset because I thought that all of our plans were completely dead they might still be that remains to be seen but we're out of it now we're moving on and um, so hurricane one Dave one